it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we will learn about how to make an automatic bottle filler machine with the help of Arduino. The platform we are using is the Proteus Head Professional. Now let's get started. First, you must know that we have introduced a new component within the Proteus and that is called as the bottle filler. So this bottle filler is a very simple component but is not the integral part of the Proteus. So you should have to download the, the file which is whose link is given in the description. So we need to take our bottle filler first. This is our bottle filler. So, okay. After this bottle filler first, this component will just show that when there is input on the PIR sensor, which is actually the obstacle or any object detection center, after taking the signal from this PIR sensor, and our controller will guide the bottle filler to fill the bottle. So we also need one PIR sensor. So we will go and we will take this PIR sensor. Uh, we have introduced a very very simple PIR sensor okay now we also need to go to properties and click on attach hierarchy module okay now this is our PIR sensor now we need to test it so we need to take logic state logic state is used for to input the binary data binary data means 0 and 1 so now we will test it that either it is giving signal so yes it is giving signal when it is 1 it means that bottle is in front of PIR sensor and after this condition the controller will give command to the bottle filler to fill the bottle otherwise not okay now we will move this PIR sensor a bit here now we need to take Arduino one more thing Arduino is also not the integral part of the Proteus so you must have to download its library and then paste this library inside the library folder of the Proteus in order to use this Arduino and one more thing that you also need to restart the Proteus before using this Arduino or you will not see any sort of Arduino component. So this is our Arduino. Okay, now we will see the output on our serial monitor. It is also called as the virtual terminal. Okay, so its RXT pin must be with TX pin of the Arduino and its TXT pin with the RX pin of the Arduino. Okay, so it is also called a serial monitor or virtual terminal. Okay, now we also need to do one thing that this thing our bottle filler used to work on 12 volt or at least 10 volt so what we need to do is to either using a transistor or relay in order to operate it but first we need to give the signal on the analog zero pin of the Arduino you also need to give ground to the PIR sensor like this and power or VCC power pin to the VCC of the PIR sensor. So VCC and ground both are the power pins and out is the signal pin of the PIR sensor. Okay now we will go and now we will also use our Arduino IDE code. So let's open your Arduino IDE. Okay, now go to file and go click on new. Okay, now here in wired setup, wired setup is a function which will just execute for one time. So we will write serial dot begin 9600. So what we are doing is actually initializing the serial communication. That writing the data on serial port, that is the virtual terminal. So it is very essential and necessary. So you need to 
write this serial dot begin 9600 and 9600 is the baud rate the exact symbol rate per second then while loop we need to read the signal on the a0 pin of the Arduino so int a is equal to analog read of a0 so int p is equal to map of a a comma 0 comma 10 23 comma 0 comma 255 so if b is greater than 200 then we can write serial dot print ln bottle detected that if there is any sort of hurdle in front of PIR then we can say that bottle detected and if B is less than 200 then no bottle is there if P is less than 200 then no bottle detected okay also need to write delay of 500 here also delay of 500 here and also delay of 500 here now we need to save it and compile it this tick button is actually for the compilation of the code after this compi compilation okay there is one error so we need to rectify it that is r must be capital so run it Okay, now we will copy this code that is dot hex file code and put it in the Arduino. No need to give any sort of power to Arduino or anything like that. So now it is saying no bottle detected. Uh, what is this? Again, it is saying no bottle detected. Okay, now maybe because it is like uh, this signal, because we have written that B is greater than 200, so we also need to put this signal value here. Serial dot print B, print ln B. Now we need to compile the code. And no need to put the hex file link again and again. Once it is inside the Arduino, it will work. So no bottle detected. So why it is so wet? Its value is okay. I got because uh, maybe there is although a logic ones mean five volt. But sometimes it is not going to read the value of, of this logic one. So instead of 5 volt, we, we will just choose one 5 volt supply with one push button. So this is button is SPSD push button. Okay, now, now hopefully it will work fine. So no bottle detected and when we will press it, it is saying bottle detected. Okay, now our input part is completed. Now we will first, we will connect directly it with the bottle filler with the Arduino. We will just try. Maybe it will work on 5 volt or like that. But I think that it will work on 7 to 12 volts. Proper voltages are there. So okay now we also need to take the ground for the bottle filler okay now no bottle detected okay one more thing that we also need to 
make high the pin number 13 so for it we will declare pin mode 13 comma output 13 comma out put then here we will write digital write digital digital write 13 comma high 13 comma high and digital write 13 comma low Thirteen comma low. Okay now. So it is no bottle detected. Now we will. Yeah, the signal has flown, has given to the. Uh, bottle filler but it's not working so so we have to use the relay so we will take our relay simple relay animated one relay animated so relay any so we will take this relay like this okay we will take the winding to the pin number 13 and ground to the to this ground okay now we will take one extra supply for 12 volt that is off like 12 volt or 10 volt all will work fine to the to this pin and and this pin to the top pin of the bottle filler okay now we will try Okay, now no bottle detected and okay, so bottle is detected. Okay, wait, it will like either it is working properly or not. Oh, it, it is 12 volt. Okay, relay is 12 volt. So we also need to change the voltages of relay and change it to 5 volt. Okay, now it will no now it will work fine. Okay, so okay now, yeah now you can see that uh, the material used to drop from the hopper to the bottle. Okay, so now it is gone. Okay, so whenever there is signal on PID, our bottle filling or our bottle filler will work. So hopefully you got the concept regarding the bottle filling operators or machine within the Proteus, so thanks for visiting our channel.